Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. I'm talking a little quiet because James is still asleep. It is just after seven. I got up, finished figuring out everything I'm bringing on my trip today, and I'm getting the vlog up. Um, but just, just a warning from here on out, the next three, four days is all going to be on iPhone. Peter has insisted that he's editing while I am gone to give me a full, a full little trip away. Um, and so it'll just be easiest to, to have our footage from two different places on our phones, easy to organize, um, and keep in chronological order so that editing can be as easy as possible for him. So just a little warning there. Um, it's a travel vlog. Look who is awake. He's insisting on eating his cereal bar with a fork. Why not? I am all packed up. I am just bringing carry-ons. This can actually, the purse will fit inside. I'm trying to remember the last time I vlogged coming out of Orange Theory in the morning. But it just feels like it's actually daylight. I feel like last time I vlogged when I was leaving class that uh, the sun was like, the, the sky was like lightening up. But this is like, almost like the sun is really, really up. And the street lights are still on, but I don't know if it's sun or time related. But it's almost like a sunrise for Chicago standards at least. All right, last one in theory until Sarah leaves and comes back from Florida. I'm gonna go home and get cleaned up so I can get ready to bring her to the airport. It is still that time in Florida where it's chilly in the morning, warm during the day, and then chilly again at night. So I am bringing a coat or two. I'm not gonna do like a full, like what did I bring um, situation just because I know I could like talk for minutes on minutes on minutes on what I packed. And I'd rather the vlog be like, the day and my time tonight at Disney. So in here are my jammies, my clothes. I only brought one extra outfit, which is huge for me. Um, I have the little pair of tennis shoes I got yesterday. I'm actually bringing our diaper bag as my backpack because we're not gonna have a stroller. I'm gonna need something to put my jacket in, just especially being on my own. I got my books. I'm bringing my bathing suit. I'm being hopeful. Um, charger on one side, Tums on the other because my uh, heartburn has been something else this this pregnancy. So there's that. And then in here is like everything that I want easy access, all of my um, liquids so I can easily take them out at security, all of my hair things and glasses and stuff like that so everything's super easy I've traveled alone before but most of my solo travel has been just me going from Florida to Chicago and staying with family and it being less of like a trip um so definitely different also obviously my first time traveling away from James um and just like wanting to make sure like I'm not with Peter, I'm gonna have to carry everything. I'm almost six months pregnant. Um, so yeah, traveling light and I am staying with Megan and Katie Petrus for the whole weekend. They are picking me up from the airport tonight and we plan on going to a resort for some just like sneaky snacks and drinks. Alrighty, I am through security. Oh, funny enough, my friend designed this and we printed it at my old job. Sorry, that might have been confusing, but this currency exchange wrap was designed by my friend, Julia. So yeah, it was a tearful goodbye for sure. James fell asleep, like right as we were approaching the gate. So it was kind of like, just not what I expected whatsoever. Again, I'm so worried he's gonna be confused. 
now that it was like, he didn't get to like see me leave. But in some ways that was okay. I don't know. Just, just a silly situation, I guess. So I'm gonna find a spot, maybe a fancy drink, maybe a snack, um, and do some reading. I have like maybe an hour and a half-ish until boarding. Alrighty, my first eats of the trip. Honestly, I have a lot of snacking planned. So this this goes along with the, the theme of the weekend. Um, it's from Big Bowl, which we've been to the restaurant downtown. I didn't know they had a little one here in our international terminal. So I got pot stickers and this pomegranate ginger beer. It looks really good. And here is my view. Pretty dreary. Alrighty. It is time to board. I don't know if I mentioned it. I have a connecting flight in Baltimore. So like I said, I have a connecting flight in Baltimore, which is cool to me because I've never been there or anywhere even really close to there, I think. And I have the whole row to myself, um, which is nice. It's not not a full flight. And I am just figuring out if I'm going to read or sleep. Because uh, I don't know if you know this, but my, I like to call it my party trick. I can fall asleep before takeoff and sleep through takeoff. And so I haven't done it in a while because I've been flying with a baby. So <sighs> that, that may just be my choice. Also, I am a dope because I have been close to Baltimore when I went to Washington, D.C. on my eighth grade trip. That was in 2006. So I'm, I'm still excited about it. Well, this is kind of a predicament. We are at Jewel. I was supposed to grab a few things before we go back home, but he's still asleep. I think I might try to put him in the stroller. I think there's an elevator with this jewel to get downstairs. We'll see. But like, I feel like the second I get him out, he's gonna wake up, but maybe not. We are now in business. James woke up right as I got the stroller put together, which is, this is what I prefer. Cause then he can look around and be a, help, a helper for me. Do you love helping dad shop? He's got the salami in his hand. He's looking at everything. He's so happy. You've been a good helper. First stop of the day, or second actually, done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you got Reese's. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't stay in there. That was a long ride, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Ready to go give your cousin Matt happy birthdays? I have landed safely in Baltimore and I have 20 minutes to get to my next gate for my connecting flight to Florida. I am hungry and I see where my terminal is. So we'll see if I can grab something quick to eat. Wow. I made it. I got a sandwich and chips and a drink and literally like all the time I had to get on this plane. The last stretch until Disney. On behalf of Southwest Airlines, we welcome you to Orlando. Alrighty, I have arrived. And just in time for a fake monorail. Megan and Katie are almost here. And we're gonna go straight to property to Coronado Springs. I think that's our plan all decked out for the 50th. Okay. Looking good, Luca. Luca's repping my Wilderness Lodge hat tonight. <laughs> Alright, the parents have left. Christina and Grant are going to like a work dinner 
So I got the kids for a few hours. Are we gonna have ice cream tonight? Is your sock messed up? Are we gonna have ice cream later? You want it right now? How about in five minutes? Deal. We gotta make sure mom and dad are out of here. Gotta make sure they're far away and then we'll have the ice cream. Okay, so James and I went to go visit Sarah's cousin Matt because his birthday was the other day. They're having like, the family's going out to this pub later tonight. But James and I are skipping that because he's a little baby. So we wanted to like go hang out with, James, with Matt earlier instead. Um, I think Christina and Grant might be going there after their work dinner. So we'll see where the night goes. Like, I think they're at least gonna stop back home, probably put these kids to bed in between. So we'll see if James and I are needed at that point or if we'll just go home and hang out even go to bed. But kind of a busy day because we were like, boom, boom, boom. Doing like tasks and visiting people today after dropping Sarah off. But overall, good day. We're gonna have an ice cream party. Yeah! We got Reese's. We got fudge trucks and peanut butter. Luca, do you want ice cream? Thank you. Oh, I don't think that hat goes on that little doll quite. It's a little big. We got Luca over here eating some peanut butter Reese's with an LOL doll that Violet got. James is choosing to opt for his hand for the fudge truck ice cream. Well, look who I found. With Megan and Katie, we just parked at Coronado Springs. We don't really know where we're going, but we're gonna go to the tower first. None of us have been to Three Bridges, right? No. And I've never seen Grand it's, Destino have, Tower. Have you, you've never even been inside here? No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's very nice. There's actually a really nice bar upstairs too, if we're feeling fancy, but we're gonna eat at Three Bridges. Um, I actually first wanted to come here because they had great plant-based options, but now I'm just going to eat it all. <sighs> so fancy. I've really only been here two times, but we're on the wait list for Three Bridges. So we came up to the lounge. What is it called? Dahlia? Yeah, and we just came outside. You can see Spaceship Earth over there doing its thing. It's a really, really, it's a really cool view of uh, Galaxy's Edge from here. But I really like that you can see Summit plummet. Alrighty, we made it to Three Bridges. It's so pretty. You guys know I love eating on the water, but it's literally called Three Bridges because three bridges line up to it. There's a lot of seating. How is it? That's really good. Really? It's prickly pear. I feel like a loo. Mm-hmm. Oh Lemonetta. Really <laughs> Did I say that right? Lemonade. Is it lemonade? Limonada. Limonada. Yum. Me and Katie both got fancy drinks too. Did you get the berry? Yeah, berry smash. Okay. So we literally each got the three that were on the menu. We're gonna be doing all appetizers tonight. Sharing it all. But this place is big. It's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. I like the Gideon's flair over there. Yeah. And there are hidden Mickeys on the table. And I love these glasses. I'm just, I just told the girls that my cheeks were smile, or my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. All right, my drink is here. It's very, very good. This one is more sweet than yours. Megan's tastes more like tea. Yeah. This has more of like a punch to refreshing. it. Yes, and it's mint. I think yours is mint too, yeah, but berry. Mint berry. Did you try it? Yes. Yeah, it's sweeter, but it's good. Yeah, and mine is hibiscus. And I got the corn dip, which is plant-based. Same chips, and then just the cheese dip. Okay, we also got pork tacos that just arrived. These smell so good. These smell so good. And we got the peppercorn. These are huge. Wings. Look yeah. at this wing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Both dips were hit. They are shallow bowls that we were a little bit like, what's the word? <laughs> yes? Um, but honestly, like, it was a good amount. Like, it was. Like, it was just what we needed. 
And perfect three. Oh my gosh. Yep. Just not making a mess is what's happening here. That one was Luca. This one's James. But now I see that it wasn't Christmas I hated. It was being alone. Oh, that's deep and truthful. But I'm not alone anymore. Woo! And we have all. We're calming down with some Luca right now. So far, one has fallen. Got one more still going strong over there, and so is he kind of. We are home at last. Do you ever have those days that, like, go at the end of the day, it was been a blink of an eye, but during it felt so long? James fell asleep in the car. We were able to transfer him to his crib. He's still asleep. It's been about 20 minutes. Fingers crossed he stays asleep because he didn't nap today, really. Um, but I'm exhausted. It's after midnight, so I'm going to go to bed. Um, it was a good day. Tomorrow's going to just be a full-on, full James and Peter day. I'm very excited. have a couple of errands we have to run tomorrow. Um, I have a deli that I want us to go to, and I have a ton of dishes to do, and some tidying up around the apartment to do, um, but it's going to be a really good day, I know it is, and I'm excited for Sarah to be in Disney World and to see some of the resorts and some of the parks tomorrow, so it'll be a good time. Um, I do miss her though, I really do. It's good to be home. Alrighty, we are back at Megan and Katie's place. Um, if you are a Swish and Flick listener, that's where they record their podcast. Um, and everything was really great at Three Bridges. Honestly, I'd love to go back and actually eat like the entrees after the appetizers were so good. Um, and yeah, it was just a really like beautiful temperature beautiful night eating on the water um and we just talk and talk and talk so we finally came back um I got all showered and ready for bed and I'm just waiting for Peter to say he is home so we can talk on the phone um but thanks for being my companion throughout the day great company being able to um talk to all of you while I'm on this solo trip I am excited for tomorrow. It's going to be like a relaxing but full day. Um, lots of places, well one place in particular that has, I mean I guess it really didn't recently open. It's just opened up after we moved. Um, excited to get back to and end our night tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. So I will sign off here. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>